In this video, we learn how to enter math notation into the My Open Math homework system. For questions for which you are asked to document your work, you will be provided with a full text editor, which allows you to do things like bold text, italicized text, underlined text, create bulleted lists, numbered lists, and things of that nature. Let's start with some simple examples. So if I want to enter the fraction 2 thirds, I have two basic approaches. The first approach is to use plain text. In this approach, I just use symbols that are already on the keyboard. For example, to enter 2 thirds, I would type a 2, the division symbol, followed by a 3 to represent the fraction 2 thirds. If I want to render this as ASCII 2 math, then I would highlight the fraction 2 thirds click on the Add New Math button. When you do this, you will see that the two-thirds is now surrounded by backticks, or the grave accent symbol, and also by a red outline. Click anywhere outside of that red outline, and then the two-thirds will be rendered as a natural-looking fraction. Okay, so let's keep going and do another simple example. Let's say I want to represent the exponential expression 5 squared. To do that using plain text, I would type in a 5, and then I would use the caret symbol to represent an exponent, and that is a shift 6 on your keyboard, and then a 2 to represent the fact that I am squaring this number. If you want to render this as ASCII 2 math, then you would highlight the 5 squared, click on the Add New Math button, and then just click anywhere outside of that red outline, and then it renders as 5 squared. For my third simple example, let's look at the square root of 7. To represent the square root of 7 on the keyboard, just type SQRT, left parentheses 7, right parentheses. If I want to render this as ASCII 2 math, then I would highlight the square root of 7, click on the Add New Math button, and then when the red outline appears, just click anywhere outside of that region, and then it renders it as a natural looking square root of 7. For our second example, it's a little bit more complex. We have a square root of a fraction. So if I want to enter this as plain text, I would start with the square root, which is on the outside, and this is SQRT, left parentheses. Then I can enter the numerator, which is 0 0.32 times left parentheses 1 minus 0 0.32, right parentheses, divided by the 250, right parentheses to close the square root. And this is equal to 0 0.0295. If I want to render this as ASCII 2 math, I could highlight it, click on the Add New Math button, and then click anywhere outside of this region. Now it doesn't display quite the way that I intended, so I'm going to go back in and just add an additional left parentheses at the beginning of the numerator and a right parentheses at the end of the numerator. Again, click anywhere outside of this region, and now I have it displayed perfectly. For a third example, I have a real mess. I have a fraction. And then in the denominator of the fraction, I have a square root. And then under the square root, I have so several additional fractions. To enter this as a plain text, I'm going to start with a left parentheses to begin my numerator. 5.62 minus 4.27, right parentheses to end the numerator. A division symbol to start the fraction. And then in the denominator, I have a square root, so SQRT a left parentheses, and then under the square root I have a 4.71, shift 6 to get the caret symbol for the exponent, 2, division symbol to divide by 20, plus 5.31, shift 6 to pick up the caret symbol, 2 to square it, divide by 37, and a right parentheses to close the square root. If I want to render this as ASCII 2 math, I would highlight it, click on the Add New Math button, and then click anywhere outside of this region. 
this case it looks like I forgot to enter the value so let me go ahead and enter that so it is equal to 0 0.987 here in the plain text and then where I've rendered it as the ASCII 2 math I need to click in to get back into that red outline and then type in equals 0 0.987 click anywhere outside of that region and now this is displayed very nicely using a, a natural math notation.